Here at Gordon's Feed, they're constantly selling out of chicks as more people want to start their own chicken farms and have their own eggs. But what can you do to protect your chickens from catching the bird flu? This is where we keep the baby chicks that we get shipments of, and all these are empty. There was a thousand chicks in here, you know, like a week ago. Gordon Grantham, manager at Gordon's Feed, said customers are constantly coming in to buy chicks, voicing concerns about egg prices and egg scarcity with the recent outbreak of bird flu. People wanting to start it for themselves, wanting to be involved, going back a little bit, and, and the others worried that they're not going to get them because there is no farms here, so. Or what are they going to pay for it? But with a fourth poultry facility now testing positive in Maricopa County, what can you do to protect your chicks from catching the virus? Quarantine new birds, prevent cross contamination with, um, you know, things that have come into contact with wild birds, including protecting the feed sources and the water sources. Dr. Todd Driggers with Avian and Exotic Animal Clinic said the virus is airborne and can be transferred from sick birds and their feces, saliva, or anything respiratory. And it surely would be a nice thing if that were available, but I, I'm unaware uh, of anybody that's vaccinating for avian influenza. Ideal Poultry is one of the largest suppliers of backyard poultry in the U.S. and is where Gordon's Feed gets their chicks. It, is, it has been a record chicken year for us. Foot baths, car washes, and disinfectant every time people come onto the facility are just some of the ways they keep their chicks safe. We ask for tips on how to keep yours safe. Keeping a roof over your birds. You know, a lot of times people like the free range type birds, and those are great, but those birds are also more susceptible, susceptible to things like avian influenza. Ben Brown, ABC 15, Arizona.